Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gag the Bones back with another Diablo 3 video for you today. And this time, Season 3 has begun. So, we're taking a little bit of a look at the beginning splash screen. When we get into Season 3, we're going to create a new Season Hero. And just some things to go through here real quick. Obviously, we're going to get the new two pieces for the new Transmore for five set. So, we'll have that new complete set there. And, of course, uh, some new legendary items. Obviously, we're going to get a couple new legendary gems. Uh, we have Ice Blink, <clears throat> which is your cold skill now applies chill effects. And your chill effects now slow enemy movements by an additional 5%. Uh, an old uh, ring. They're actually going to be adding a uh, legendary FX to this. The Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. By the way... <clears throat> this affix will be added to if you have previous rings of this. Once the season is ended, reduce the remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second when you hit with a resource spending attack. You have a Rancelor's Folly, which is a new set of bracers for wizards. You can see there. We have a Witch Doctor ring with a short man's finger. Uh, we have a Demon Hunter Quiver. See here. <clears throat> we do have a new legendary potion. Of course, nothing, not a whole lot new there. And of course, our second legendary gem is the Mutilation Guard. Gain 10% melee damage reduction. <laughs> and then, of course, while below 30% life, you may move unhindered through enemies. <clears throat> Which, uh, be quite useful for getting out of those tough, sticky situations. Of course, a couple of legendary belts. We have a legendary mighty belt for barbarians, ground stomp, cause an avalanche. Uh, we have a bless, blessed of hall. Justice spawns a blessed hammer uh, when it hits an enemy. So this is going to be our crusader belt for those who are using blessed hammer belts and justice builds. This is going to be quite awesome for the builds that I use for my power leveling. <clears throat> and of course, a second set of guards for monks. And uh, another revamp of a ring that had no legendary affix is the Nagel. I can never sp pronounce this right. Nagel ring. It summons a fallen lunatic to your side every 10 seconds. You can always have a fallen lunatic. And that's it for that. As far as you have some new leaderboard of conquests here, I'm not going to go through them all, but uh, stuff is completing Acts 1 through 6 at max level under an hour. <clears throat> Things like that. You're also going to get a new frame and a new pennant. So, portrait, frame, and pennant, and they have some new pennants here. So, we're going to go right in to create a new season hero. Of course, as always, I'm going to be doing Hardcore Seasonal uh, Crusader. I'm going to create our new Bagley Bones. And create hero. Of course, it's going to give me the typical, if you die, you're dead. We're going to go to game settings. We are not going to play through the campaign mode, which we could. We're going to go to adventure mode and start game. I plan to do a long playthrough here, <clears throat> just a few minutes. Of course, from the public test realm, um, videos that I've had before, uh, you can see, uh, obviously we're going to be starting off from scratch. As before, we now have our cosmetic, which we have our Wings of Valor, our pets when we get them, portrait frames, and of course pennants, which we do not have the pennant right now, so we won't gain that, I believe, until... At the end. Uh, now one thing to make note of, if you notice here, there is a health potion. And they have kicked this over from the public test room. But as you notice, I have no potions in here. Um, so I hit... Oops. Uh, let's see here. One second. Sorry, folks. 
need to fix. There we go. So, <clears throat> I had to change my controls. Okay, so, as you see, I have no potions at all. Ah, why am I not clicking on it? There we go. So I have no potions. I'm going to get low on life, and I'll show you. We are not going to need... We, you no longer pick up plain potions. The only potions you're going to get are legendary potions. So you have inf infinite health potion. The only difference is... Well, it's the same as before. You still have a cooldown. Uh, so legendary potions. The only difference is with a legendary potion over the regular potion that you have standard here all the time... Now, if you remember before, you'd always get like 10 potions at the beginning of the game. Well, you're not going to have to worry about that anymore. You're not going to worry about picking up potions. It will make your run-throughs quite a bit quicker. So, <clears throat> pretty much we're just going to start off. and We're going to go through a couple of these guys real fast here. Try to find some. Trying to look for some quick... Quick ones to play through here. Through some bounties. But uh, it, it should go a little quicker not having to worry about potions and things of that nature. So it will be nice not having to really worry about potion. Trying to get down here. See? You look at that, I still have a potion. The only difference... <clears throat> well, it's not really a difference. I keep wanting to say that, but... The only, the only thing is that you still have the cooldown. You always have that cooldown, it's not going to go away. It's going to be the same thing on your legendary potions as well. But at least we don't have to go picking up potions and things of that nature. Seems like we're able to go through this fairly quickly. Feels pretty smooth so far. I think the last time I played Public Test Realm, things felt a little blocky. Some of the... Some of the... Some of the mobs. Feels a little bit better. I'm gonna go through and kill Asmodan real quick and see where we're at. Speed wise to kill a boss. <coughs> Before we end the video. Of course we're our normal mode. But as you can see, we were able to fairly quickly um, 
clear through. Uh, just as bump down there. It's not that hard to begin with, but not too bad. So, folks, that's a quick first look at at uh, the new season three, and hopefully, we'll see you in the next video, folks. So, make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and this is Skag the Bones out.